What is it, comrade? Lucky got found with this. What is it? I'm sure you can tell what it is. Нет, for real? You know what we gotta do. Да, that is not good. Oh, what is he? Mr. Lucky, you have been found with possession of human meat. This is a violation of Law 5, Section 3. Being found in possession of human meat, either in backpack or in hand, is a death sentence penalty. Citizens will be detained and executed. Unfortunately, Mr. Lucky, you are not a citizen. You are a member of Lycan. Therefore, it is a direct execution. Mr. Pinkerton, please take it from here. Ready your weapon. Aim. Okay. Right. No. Hold fire. Are these boys? Are these? Fall outside, please! Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor to witness this gathering. All peoples of Chenores come together in order to hear the voice of an idea. A legacy that was my father's. A story about survival and a vision for a future. I am pleased to introduce myself. I am Thanamara, Alpha of Lycan. My people are from the north. Where exactly, I cannot say, for I do not know. But due to the immense climate changes in the north, everything has been covered in a foot of snow. Now there is no seasons in the north other than winter. It is impossible to grow food or raise livestock. The towns become restless due to hunger. Instead of fighting the zombie outbreak, people began to fight each other for the smallest portions of food. My father had no choice. Starve in the north or take his chances braving the gale force winds by heading south for better pastures. His mind was clear. For the survival of his bloodline, the North must be abandoned. Immediately a group was chosen by my father. Most trusted friends, Ulrich and Kenyon, were to accompany us for this journey of survival. We passed many towns facing the same fate, but pressed on for it would be the South where we would find salvation. Unfortunately at one town we stopped at, my father became ill. His journey was at an end. His last words would echo in my ego for eternity. Strength of the pack, loyalty of the wolf. A phrase that is now like an motto. It is a strong belief where I come from, that the elders and the bloodline will reincarnate into wolves after death. It was for this reason we made it to Trenaris. The night after my father passed, I was awoken by a noise. I left the tent and in the distance I saw a silhouette. Quickly followed by a howl that cracked across the land like thunder. I knew it was a sign, it was my father leading us after death. Immediately we began to follow this silhouette, which led us through a safe passage across the Black Mountains. As we approached the other side, salvation was in sight. The grass was green and the sun was shining. It was cold, but the land could be cultivated and a new civilization could be born. The Black Mountains had created the perfect barrier stopping gale force winds southward movement. I have seen many terrible things on my journey to Tenoris. Murder, cannibalism, mutilated bodies are on the list. It is for this reason Lycan was created, a vision to reincarnate what was my old civilization, providing lore and order to the land. 
attempting to restore any form of normality in this never-ending apocalypse. A border was made and laws were constructed as a foundation of our society. The towns of Turovo, Dobre, Kamenovka and Breziki are all under Lycan control. This means if you are inside this territory, you'll be subject to Lycan law. Any illegal activity will lead to detainment and interrogation. Lycan law is applicable to all citizens and general members of Lycan within its territory. It is the duty of the citizen to ensure that each member is to following the law as he would expect his citizens to. Reporting members for a breach of conduct is commended. Remember, you do have rights under Lycan law. Ensure that you know them, for they will protect you if questioned. Also remember that in this territory, it is not ruled as a democracy. If I wish to waiver your rights, I may do so at any time. These rules, although seem tough and hard to follow, will ensure the peace and prosperity will be created and maintained in the north. I have been hearing many concerns over the activity regarding my members in Svetlojask. I wish to clear up those unaware of Lycan claim to that land. Lycan does not claim to own Svetlojask, but considers it protected area. My members will patrol there freely to ensure the peace. It is not the job of my members to police peaceful citizens in Svet. However, if a gunfight occurs, my men have been ordered to detain or neutralize the threat. We patrol Svetlojask in an attempt to keep the town neutral, a safe haven for peaceful anarchists, a prosperous town for trade. Any faction that directly claims Svetlojask will be in direct conflict with Lycan. Within Lycan territory, citizens may do as they please, with some exceptions. The jailhouse is considered Lycan headquarters. Entering without permission will lead to detainment. Any citizen wandering on the cliffs without notifying a member of Lycan will be questioned, and if hostile, detained. Please remember, according to Lycan law, if you become hostile, you will lose your citizen status and be treated as an enemy of the state. If questioned, please remain calm and you will be treated in a civil manner. I do thank you for coming. It brings me great delight to see such interest. Does anyone have further questions?